at Tuesday's launch of the PNG and RLC five-year strategic plan 2023-2027, PNG RFL High Performance Manager Mark Porters gave a brief outline of what the plan entails and the priority areas involving the four pillars, club professionalism, coaching and officiating, competition pathways and the competition management. Porters said coaching and officiating is about developing the expertise and the skills of our coaches, referees and match officials. He said club professionalism is about the journey of the club themselves, adding the PNG RFL will support these clubs and help them become more professional. Porters said the Australian National Rugby League is the benchmark and is supported by Queensland Rugby League and New South Wales Rugby League who run their own competitions. This is the uh, NRLC strategic plan or the Digicel Exxon Mobile Cup strategic plan. Um, they work hand in hand and in tandem with the other plans. So the CRL plan is a community rugby league plan and that's the blue side of that picture. Okay, and Stanley mentioned that. Critical piece, critical piece for the health of rugby league over the next five years. Uh, the other piece of the, pa is of the pie here is the high performance plan which we launched a month ago. Uh, and that's obviously we're looking after everything from the Digicel Cup up through to the national teams. The plan will be funded by the Australian Government through the Pacific or Sports. On behalf of the Australian Government, First Secretary, DFAT, Australian High Commission, Megan Clarkson, acknowledged PNG and RLC major sponsors, TDCell and ExxonMobil and other strategic partners who make it possible for the competition to run on annual basis. Clarkson said the plan is looking at planning, enhancing competition frameworks and player contract constructors as well as improved pathways for players. Clarkson was particularly pleased with plans for under-19 and female senior competition tier as well. I'm particularly pleased to see that there's ambitions for under-19 and senior female competition tiers in the national competition in the next couple of years. Uh, we know that this is a burgeoning sport in Australia for women's rugby league and rugby league and PNG will benefit for having more women playing the sport as well. This lays the platform for future generations of women and girls in the sport and builds further roles for female athletes, fans and administrators in the game. The rollout of the five-year strategic plan has started with trainers, coaches and referees workshops conducted in Port Moresby over the past two months. Terry Longwood, TV1 Sports.